Hey guys, what's going on? This is Michael from The Twisted Fly. And I'm not just Michael from The Twisted Fly. I'm also lead high fiver at Nautilus Reels, which is why I'm wearing this hat. Uh, I'm here today to show you how to tie the Tika. It's a fly that I designed uh, to fish a snook in the backcountry, but it's been very effective for many other things. Uh, white is a very, very good color to pursue many species and I've caught everything from peacock bass, largemouth redfish and and of course tarpon on this fly. Very very effective and you can get it here at the old Florida fly shop and I'm going to show you how to tie this thing. Stay tuned. All right to start we're going to use an SC15 and 2 watt, and we're going to start our thread wrap in the front work our way to the back. Once we start hearing that from the tip of the hook we stop, trim, and the second thing, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to tie on the foul guard. Uh, the way that I tie the foul guard is where I make a loop on the back of the hook. Uh, the other way to do it is to pierce the hide and come up top. I believe that it's, that's a little bit too stiff because uh, I like the tail to kind of whip back and forth. Uh, wrap it around your finger. That's a going to be a good way to get the length that you want. We'll tie off here, kind of check everything. Should be about the same length of the hook shank. We'll come around, we'll lift that loop up, make a couple of wraps under that so that we have that uh, rooster tail effect, that mono sticking up like that. Wrap, secure it, we'll cut that off. Now we're going to put our magnum rabbit strip in white. Pinch that right on top, cinch that down, and then I like to tie on the whole, pe the whole piece and then after that adjust it to the length I want. So in this case it would be right up where this bend is. It'll stick up like that, it'll come down later if you want. You can take your scissor, kind of put it under there and it'll straighten it out or curve it down. That's about fine there for me. So then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put some crystal flash on there, tie to about right there. Get three pieces or four, whatever, just not too much on that. So the way I put that on, I'll just wrap it around the thread like this. Make this V up top, make sure it's even. Hold it with both fingers, pull back. Now you know you got that even. Come to the back, don't wrap hard here because it'll make the the crystal flash stick out. So you want it to lay flat against that, that strip. Now when you tie the Arctic Fox tail, and the tail part is very important because it's not as soft as a regular Arctic Fox, you want to tie it right around here, not right up against the, the rabbit strip, just right up in here somewhere, I don't know, three, quor three quarters of the way back of uh, from when you started wrapping. Do a pinch, uh, try not to go overboard with the Arctic Fox because uh, it'll make the fly too bulky and it will it might swim funny and then it, you won't get a good surface to have your for your eyes to stick on. So when you put the Arctic Fox, put it like half of the length of the rabbit strip. I also like to tie it on the sides, not top and bottom. Uh, it's a little bit more challenging to tie on the bottom to get around that barb, but also aesthetically I think it looks better when it's tied on the side. So go ahead and put that in, put that in lightly. Well, two wraps should do it just to hold it in place. We'll go to the other side, do the next clump. Measure up here, make sure it's the same length. Two wraps, then kind of tighten that down. And then we're going to trim. Right, so now, 
come up close with the thread, hold the first, and now we'll cinch down. So it should look like that. Inspect it, spin it all the way around. Make sure you don't see any any gaps. Make sure it's full. It's full collar all the way around. Now we'll come in with the uh, the Sanyo brush, and you know that to tie you know that to fly your tying the Sanyo brush correctly. If you're using about half of it, if you're tying more than that, it's too much. If you're tying way less than that, it's too little, and you're not going to get that the right bulk on the head of the fly. So we'll come in. And we'll start palmering this forward. I like that every time I make a wrap, I kind of pull it back so that way you don't trap the hairs down because uh, you want it to stick out. You know, you want it to stick up as much as possible. Just like you would a, a hackle with a feather, you know. Tie that all the way forward. We're gonna finish that here. Don't lose tension of the thread. scissor for that. Alright, so now we'll take all these unruly hairs. We'll kind of bend them back like that. So that way they're trapped. So we need get a nice clean finish here on the head. Alright. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put on our eyes. Before we do that, we take our bobkin and we get all these hairs to fluff up. All right. We take some Loctite, the uh, super gel. careful with your dabs not for them to be too large or too little because it can make a real mess around your eyes so we'll come in put the eye down gently position it to right about where you want it come in with a bobkin scissor whatever to apply pressure on top Just push that down. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Small dab should do it. So about 10 Mississippi should keep your eyes down. So we'll come up here and we'll put our uh, our weed guard. I always cut it a little longer than what I think I'll need and then I'll cut it down to size to what I actually need. What I'll do is I'll come in here to the front and I'll pinch just the tip and the, the purpose of that is is to create these grooves in the mono so that the thread can sink into to get a bigger a, a better hold on the mono. And then what I'll do is I'll bend it up to create this little L shape and uh, that's what I'll use to attach. That's the end I'll use to attach it to the to the hook. So I'll start the wraps forward, I'll come back Put some wraps on the back of that. Then I'll come forward. 
right about at this point, I'll uh, whip finish. Once is fine, but uh, I'm going to do two on this one. If you get a hair trapped in there like I did, just come with the back end of that tool and get it out of there. Alright, so now the weed guard. <clears throat> what I like to do is cut it to where when I push back on the weed guard, it doesn't touch the tip of that, of that hook, right at the tip of that barb. So right about there is fine. And we'll come in. And before you put the glue on, you want to trim this hair. And the reason for that is if you put glue on there and you start trimming these hairs, some of these hairs could fall on your glue and uh, it'll result in a fly that's not, not finished very well. All right, so we'll take that off of there. And now we're going to trim this. Okay, so what I like to do is come here to where the hook is and I'll tie around that and I like to tie this round shape towards the front. Try very, be very, very careful not to cut your weed guard. Same applies for the other side. And what the eyes do is they do a good job at laying it flat on the sides. So that all you have to do when you trim is worry about the top and bottom, not the sides. Alright, we'll put it back on the vise. Now what we're going to do is just add some uh, Zappa Gap or whatever glue that you have is fine. And what, I'll, what I like to do is apply it on the sides, not top and bottom, and let it kind of fall over the top and bottom. Right there and the, that's it, that's your Tika. Not too difficult to tie at all and uh, very, very, very effective.